what I'm bringing out today for an history lesson. This used to be an old uh, munitions depot during World War II. And these buildings were all part of the uh, munitions depot. I believe the very uranium building was the administration office. These two buildings with the green and blue door was a chemist and a workshop. And these were part of uh, music, munitions factory, used for storage, etc. Canteens and toilets. <coughs> and just to my right here, all that building there, which is quite a large building as you can see, was the uh, munitions factory where they used to uh, pack, well, fill and pack bombs from 1941 to 1943. As you can see, it's uh, still standing in places. Right, the factory was all the way up, sort of there, in a big area. Big, big area, as you can see, all the way down. It was all the way down. And these were all part of part of the site, really. So, I'm going to have a nosy about. <coughs> I'm going to go through here now. Um, there's a gate across, but we're going to pop through and have a look. You can see up there in the distance, um, part of the old Nissan huts. They used for storage. And there's some more, just behind that red wall, there's a few more buildings still standing. They're still there. Um, yeah, they were used for storage and I suppose makeshift canteens and toilets. I'll just pause you I get a bit further up here. It's quite slippy. Here's a, here's, a, here's a few more now. That one looks quite intact, that one. But the one at the back is uh, falling to a state of disrepair, really. But yeah, these were uh, Nissan nuts. A quick build. I believe you could build something like that in about four hours. And as I said, we used for storage, makeshift canteens. Quite interesting. And behind us is, is part of the other, the other munitions factory. Some of these are still being used today, like artisan places, arts and crafts, and make a living. So the uh, the goods that they make. And down here, let's see if we can get through here. Right, here's another one. It's quite a large building, as you can see. There's a hole in the side. Oh, I'll look inside though, not that you can see much. But yeah, I believe these were, were built in 1941. And there's quite a few dotted about. There's some still standing and some obviously fall apart. But in that building over there, it's now a tea room, was uh, administration offices, and at the end of that was a police station. All down here. Right. I'm getting a bit tangled up in, in brambles. Hang on. Right, I've come away from the buildings behind us. I've come up a bit of a banking. I found this. Um, quite a big piece of water, really. What it was used for, I've no idea. It's definitely man made. That's concrete sidings. Now, I do know a bit, a bit further up in sort of that direction, there's a big lodge. I should imagine the lodge was used for the, uh, the missions. Uh, I can't see it. The, uh, the factories behind us. Munition factory. But what this was actually being used for, I've no idea. Well, I'll look a bit further along here. If I don't slip. Because it's really slippy. There's more foundations of these Nissan nuts. As you can see. And there's lots of these scattered about. Absolutely loads of them. There's some further on. So I'm just going to have a quick check round 
this sort of area first. So I don't miss anything. I'm, I'll get back to you shortly. Right, as you can see, there's a, I don't know what that is. There's a, there's a big round, that is a big round brick structure. Uh, I'm not sure what that'd been used for. But again, there's even more of these, uh, what's left of these missing ups. The one there behind, that's sort of still intact. When you think these have been here since 1940s, it's unbelievable that they're still standing. To say they're only temporary, temporary sort of buildings. I find it quite interesting that they're still here. Yeah. Lots of felled trees, lots of deadwood knocking about. Be a little bit careful. Right, I've just found uh, something interesting over there, which I'll show you in a minute. Right, at some point this, this water was fenced off with iron railings. That must have gone all the way around because there's still traces of it left. And I've just found now that this has grown through it. This tree has actually grown through the railings. And it's quite a large tree, as you can see. And it's actually grown through the railings. Apart. Yeah. That's been here at least, as I keep saying, 1940. And the trees going through it. Right, we'll have, we have a wander up that sort of way. It's quite interesting up there. We'll have a look up there. The path now, after water behind us. And we're up onto here. Obviously, people's been up here. It's quite level in here. Signs of uh, someone's been camping or day camping, or whatever. Bet yours. Discarded tent. Tarpaulin. It's quite well, a little bit eerie around here, to be honest. Again, more of these buildings been vandalised through the years. Obviously there'd been a road at some point, well that rubbish has been dumped. That'd have been a road to up these buildings. And uh, some of these buildings are in quite good condition, you know. I mean that roof's in, it's in quite good nick to it. It's here. It's been left to you know they served a purpose. For a war, and they just left to, well, to decay and deteriorate. Really, what a shame! You know, I like looking at old stuff. We're going in the background over there. There's quite a lot of these buildings dotted about, and there's foundations, and you can see where they've been over the years. Quite an interesting place. And I live uh, quite local to this. Some a barbecue. Could have served as a sausage company or a burger. This may not be a bad, bad place really to go uh, and rip the stealth. I don't think nobody'd see up here. I don't think nobody'd come up here really. It's very muddy. I'm glad I put my wellers in. Right, watch this water. I'm just going to check this water because what I did off camera, me being a fisherman, I do quite a lot of fishing. I just don't film me fishing um, because it, it takes a long time. But I, what I've done, I've, I've actually thrown some bread in this water. I threw some bread on the top, let it float about. Just see if we get any takers, just see if there's any fish in there. And if there is, if I think there's fishing there at some point, I'll come back and I'll fish it. No, I won't, I won't video it because a lot of people don't want to watch fishing videos, but it's just something else I do. 
Um, I just love being outdoors. If I'm not sat in it, camping in it, having a brew in it, I'm fishing in it, or working in it. Well, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a, a look round, a bit of history. I, I believe, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, I believe, when this place was up and running, and these buildings were all in action, over the span of two years, they produced um, over 130 million bombs. 20 pound bombs, they packed them, they filled them, sorry, and then they packed them and they shipped them out. And I believe within the space of two years, they went to, they went to 130 million bombs. That's a lot of bombs for the war effort. So I should imagine this place down there had been a hive of activity. There'd have been people everywhere and soldiers and military police and everything else trying to keep it secure. I know on, on, on either end of this site, there's the old pillboxes. Um, obviously looking after a place like County Security. In fact, I've just seen another building. Have you seen it? And they right through those. Another one I've seen before. Oh well, well, yeah, interesting, isn't it? Right, we shall move on. Onwards and upwards. Or downwards. Or slippy on bottom time downwards. We'll see. Right, I'm going to turn you off because you're not laughing at me falling down here. Well, if you can hear me, it's gone really windy now. And, uh, you probably can't see that. I'll try and zoom in if I can. Oh, there's my bread. And I've had no takers so far. Doesn't mean to say there's no fish in though. It just, they might just might be feeding. And, uh, yeah, it's nice being stumbled across something you didn't know there. As I said, being a fisherman, it's just another another place to explore for me. Right. We'll carry on. And no, just in case you're all laughing, I didn't fall down there. And if I did, I wouldn't have showed you. <laughs> Right, as you can see, we've got a fallen tree in our way. So we're going to clamber over this and have a look further up. This is sort of around the back of that water, I showed you. We're going around the back of that now. The water will be over in that direction. And they're coming around here. So I want to show you these. There's more of these uh, Nissan up foundations. And there's quite a lot of them, so obviously quite a big place. There must have been a lot of people up down here. See, they're all covered in moss now. But there's, there's rows and rows and rows of them either side. Yeah. I think you get the idea. That's quite a lot. <laughs> I tend to ramble on a little bit. It's got a strange feeling to the place. I don't know whether, whether it's because one time it had been, you know, buzzing with people and now it's just dead. It's nothing, I don't know, it's strange. Yeah, it's just slowly taking, uh, taking it all back. Right, we'll go a little bit further up here. As you can see, there's still, still leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's about eleven on this side, and roughly same on this side. And there's there's a water over there. Look at the size of that one. That must have been a big up. I like, um, oh yeah, the prefabricated, as you can see. Like blocks of concrete. And it looks like they're, they're knocked together with wedges. Right, if you just make out the, I'm pointing on camera, the, like wooden wedges. Sort of hold them together. And uh, they reckon you could put, you know, an average 
size these uh, Nissan ups up in about four hours. They throw the walls on and put the uh, corrugated roof on. Oh yeah. And they're still standing. After all them years. What's that, 80 years? 70 odd years, 80 years? Right, I've no idea what's up here. Some kind of brickwork road. Path. So, I've no idea what's up here. That's all. I'll just pause you a minute. Right, I've found even, even more now of these. A couple more on this side. And there looks to be some more going further back in that direction. Into some uh, woodland. It's just... I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's hard to walk in this stuff, it's just slippy, muddy, horrible stuff. You probably can't make, make it out, like a deer track that. Looks like deer. There's been a deer on deer, and I don't mean an old deer, not like that being an old deer, but I'm... Well, I mean, it's, it's not an old head, it's a deer. <laughs> yeah, it goes into some kind of woodland. Right. Yeah, it goes into woodland. I'm out of breath now, it's all uphill. And it's soggy and hard to walk in. But we'll explore that. We will come back and explore this one day. And see what's actually up there but I've just noticed this uh, these concrete posts and you can see them that must have been like the sort of boundary line of the uh, munitions factory so it was quite a big site a very big site in fact right, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be very um because I'll like and walk down this hill very steadily because it's slippy and uh, I'll see you back at the bottom right I've just come across some more of these buildings a small building and there's nothing so I can't get too close so there's a tree actually hanging off its roof it's fall down small buildings I'm not sure what they've been used for Again, part of the, the factory, I should imagine. This one's got ventilation systems in it. Right. Well, we know what this one is now. That's some kind of electric house, not? Got electrical panels inside it. As you can see. And again, like some kind of, I don't know, some kind of old, I can't really see them there, but some kind of pump. That water looks a funny colour. <laughs> it's running into the river. Yeah, it's interesting, really interesting. And again, some more buildings building to the hillside. Or, or obviously it's been, you know, over the years it's grown around it sort of thing. Be very careful to walk here. There's actually a door on that one. Can't get into the door on the right hand side of it. Right, looks like that building might have carried along at some point because that's a brickwork. And they're in the banking. So maybe it come all the way across, I'm not sure. Right, let's go back. 
where we come from. <laughs>